It's not going to take the entire space, of course, but it, it, it's going to be probably in this area. Ever since the outdoor pool at Mount Pleasant Park was demolished in 2009, Marjorie Duda has been fighting to bring it back. Having a, an outdoor swimming pool in a very popular community park in a neighbourhood that is densely populated and close to all kinds of transit is a great idea. Vancouver has five outdoor pools, the most well-known at Kitsilano, Second Beach and New Brighton Park. Park Board Commissioner John Irwin wants to see one return, saying with only a handful of pools in the city, spots for summer swimming and all too important lessons are far and few between. You know, we're, we're a water community, we're surrounded by water and I just think it's, it's a key skill that every child needs to have to know how to swim. But not everyone agrees Mount Pleasant is the right location. A petition called Save Mount Pleasant Park has hundreds of signatures. The pool first built there in 1967 was filled in more than a decade ago to make way for the park we see today. When the pool used to be here, we didn't have a skate park. We didn't have a community garden. We didn't have a, an enlarged playground. We didn't have the parking lot. We didn't have the basketball court. So this is already a really well utilized for a multitude of purposes, green space and park area. This former park commissioner supported closing the original outdoor pool and says the money is best spent on existing community centers, like the one at Hillcrest. For five million plus, they could build the equivalent of an outdoor Mount Pleasant pool and it already has the change rooms, it already has the cashiers and as I said, for the folks living in Mount Pleasant, they could hop on a bus or could ride their bikes up the Ontario bikeway. So it's very accessible. So I think that's really the win-win. Returning a pool to Mount Pleasant Park would cost about $15 million, according to Park Board estimates. And that has the support of some commissioners today. Council voted last week against any spending on the project. Council not adding money to the capital plan for Mount Pleasant Pool simply means that Park Board will need to look for money uh, from other levels of government and uh, perhaps with all of the development that's taking place, the major development up Broadway for example, there's some opportunities there for infrastructure funds. She vows to keep campaigning for an outdoor pool at Mount Pleasant. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.